Hey, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this UI animation in After Effects. So, let's get started. Alright, first things first, let's go ahead and import the footage, the talking head video inside the composition here, drag and drop it. The project file for this will be available on my Patreon page and that's also the way you can support what I do. I also downloaded the icons from flaticons.com. You can simply search here and you can download it just for free. All right, so let's go back into After Effects. All right, so let's create a background for now. Create a new solid, which is white, and I'm gonna rename this BG for background, hit OK. And I'm, I'm gonna move this below the footage. And let me turn off the footage for now. And let's just work on the UI. So let's go and click on the rectangle tool without selecting any layers. We're gonna create a rectangle, something, something like this. And go and click on the selection tool and hold down control and click on this pen behind tool so that the anchor point is at the center of the rectangle. Hold down this, you can switch to ellipse tool without selecting any layers again and i'm going to draw an ellipse hold down shift so that you have a perfect circle so somewhere there and i'm going to do the same for this Control click on this so that you have the anchor point at the center all right so let's grab the text tool and let me just write the text the motion designer and let me change the text to black and lower this down to 35 and I'm gonna go and set this to regular so I'm using this font here by the way and let's just keep that for now and let's just go at the bottom and right now we need some icons so I'm gonna select all these four icons and drag and drop it right there and if I hit S on the keyboard, that brings up the scale. And I'm going to scale it down to about 9. Let's just zoom in and move it down. Alright, so first things first, we need the like. Like and comment and can share it. Maybe I'm going to scale this comment icon a little bit that and I'm gonna move this share to the right side there and you can adjust the spacing between these icons go to the align and selecting all of these icons and click on this distribute horizontally and that way we'll distribute it evenly all right that looks great as of now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collapse this thing there. and maybe I'm going to rename this to main mask and rename this as DP and let's just go and select this ellipse tool and I'm going to create a circle a tiny circle I'm going to do the same for this again control click on this so that you have that at the center here if you zoom out without selecting any layers you can see that I think that's quite enough. All right, let's just go and select this and select, go to the align and click on this. So it is at the center. Control D to duplicate it and I'm gonna move it down. I mean at the right side and I'm gonna duplicate another copy, Control D and move it to the left, right? So if you can, you can also distribute it evenly by clicking on this. So that is nice for now. And I think I have misplaced the background. So we can just go and reset the transform that will bring back to the original position, right? And I will add a text here. So I said, I am going to sh 
show you how to create this sorry this UI animation in after effects right so that's what I said let me just put it somewhere here I think we're gonna lock the background and drag this and select this elements and I'm gonna move it down a touch even more somewhere there all right that's looking very nice and I will duplicate this control D to duplicate move it down a little bit and I said so and I'm gonna duplicate another copy and I'm gonna move it down and let's get started right so that's what I said maybe I'm gonna move, move this up a touch All right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this control D to duplicate move this up and I will just move it up by the keyboard arrow keys if you hold down shift and hit the up arrow keys it will move faster so that's how I like to do and I'm gonna move it to the right side somewhere around there and I'm gonna scale it down a touch hit S on the keyboard and I'm gonna, I'm gonna size it down to 70 Move it somewhere around here yeah I think that's looking nice and if you turn on the footage right now you can see that let's just hear the audio hey welcome back to the channel and in today's video maybe somewhere around here I want to start the animation right maybe somewhere around here I will set a keyframe for the scale and I'm gonna move back a few frames and I'm gonna scale this up so that it covers the entire composition and what I'm gonna do is go and toggle switch I'm gonna switch this and I'm gonna track map this footage to the main mask right so if I select the main mask and hit U you can see that it scales down like that Video, I'm gonna show you how to all right so that's nice at the same time I want the footage to scale down so selecting on the footage hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale and at the same time I'm gonna set a keyframe for the scale go to the second keyframe which is here and I'm gonna scale down the footage so that you have something like that right so select all the keyframes F9 for easy and I'm gonna go to the graph and I'm gonna set the graph like this go back let's see video I'm gonna show you how to create I think that's a little bit fast I'm happy with that animation so I'm gonna collapse this and what I'm gonna do next is I need to animate these things right so I'm gonna lock the background so it's still locked I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this down a touch and I'm gonna drag in my logo which is this MD logo color and I'm gonna put it just above the DP layer scale it down and move it somewhere here and I track mat it to the DP and yeah I'm gonna scale it down again and roughly align it to the center of the circle something like that all right so that's nice and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this DP and the MD logo just below the footage because I want this thing to come below this it will come it will you know slide up just below the footage so I'm gonna move this text as well just below the footage and I'm gonna select this dot I'm gonna move it down a touch what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new null object and I'm gonna put this null object just right about here select all these elements and unselect deselect this null by holding down control on the keyboard and selecting only null and I'm gonna parent this to the null one so that you 
we move the position of the null here you can see it moves but the problem here is the circle the mass is not moving with this so we're gonna select this MD logo and parent this to the null as well so now if I move it you can see that it moves exactly like I wanted right so I'm gonna reposition this all right so the next step is I'm gonna create a new null object again and I'm gonna move it just above this null one and I'm gonna move it here and select this which is footage and the main mask and parent this to the null 2 and i'm going to create another null object so basically we're just creating a controller for this ui so select this elements and deselect the null control click the null and pick whip and parent it to the null 3. so we're gonna do the same for this layer again so I'm gonna create the uh, null object again move it down somewhere here this time so I'm gonna select this shift select this layers and parent this to the null 4 right now we're gonna animate the other parts right so right here I want the null 1 hit P video I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna reveal the null one and I'm gonna go back few frames maybe I'm gonna shift hold down shift and hit page down thrice and maybe I'm gonna move it down here oh I'm gonna show you how to create and maybe I'm gonna shift the timing I think that's too late I'm gonna show you how to all right so you can see right now you can see that Ooh, I'm no gonna show you how to, there's no bounce animation happening all right so I will add an expression to this later on just bear with me I will leave this for now and work with the animation of the others which is P I'm gonna set this position as well the same so I'll set a position here and go here and I'm gonna now this one actually I think I should undo that and yep I will select the null 2 hit P on the keyboard and set a keyframe here and up so I will select this 3 I think the shape I think the main footage is linked to null 3 which should be at null 2 and now yeah that's nice set a keyframe go back to the first frame here first keyframe and move it down here and I'm gonna do the same for this P set a keyframe at the end first and go back to the first keyframe and move it back down so so I'm gonna show you how to so right this. now it's coming all at once but I don't want that so I'm gonna offset this right so select all this and I'm gonna trim it control alt I'm gonna hit alt and the left square bracket and I'm gonna offset the timing for this hit U so the first should be the the null one and then comes the null three so right at the beginning of this first keyframe hold down shift and page down twice and i'm gonna move this here i'll do that again shift page down twice and i'm, I'm gonna move this here so if you play it back now video i'm gonna show you how to create this ui right. so that's really nice but we need to add an expression for this so I've also used this expression in my previous, my older videos. So I will just paste this expression in the video description. You can just simply copy and paste it, right? So I'm gonna select this, Control A, Control C to copy, and I'm gonna hold down Alt, click on this start watch, and Control V to paste it. And if you play it back now, 
video i'm gonna show you how to create this see that the bounce is happening now at the top layer so i'm gonna select this position right click and copy expression only and i'm gonna cut i'm gonna paste it on the other nulls control v to paste it and if you play video i'm gonna show you how to create this ui animation all right that's video i'm gonna show you how to create this ui anim all right that's nice we still need to animate the text here so let's just go and type in typewriter here in the effects and presets and i'm gonna drag it drag and drop it on the text hit u and i'm gonna do for this other layers as well all right so hit u to bring up the keyframes and I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna trim it all old. The left square bracket, it will start from here. So let's just listen. I think these two will come up later on. I think let's just undo that and make it short and move it to the right side. Let's just listen to this. UI animation in After Effects. Well, that's too late show you how to create this UI and very very late yo I'm gonna show you how to create this U all the UI this UI animation in after after effects this video I'm gonna show you how to create this create this UI animation after effects so you can just adjust the timing with this with this keyframe and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to create create this you so so let's get started should be here next so let's get started hey all right so let's just extend this next so let's get started hey. all right that's nice and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another null object, layer new and null object. And I'm gonna call this camera. Camera. And I'm gonna select all this null and I'm gonna parent this to the camera. And right now, these are all 2D layers and I'm gonna switch everything except for the background to a 3D layer. And we can control the camera using this now hit p shift and r you can you know add all types of you know animation here you can see that i will just add a little maybe i'm gonna add a position set a keyframe and maybe somewhere here i will just zoom out even more f9 for easy ease this video i'm gonna show you how to create this e all right that's nice and so so maybe somewhere here so let's i will add a keyframe and you know i will just zoom it in again let's get started All right so i will add some is in like this and make sure you turn on the motion blur for all the layers and for the composition as well hey welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to create this ui animation in after effects so let's get started i hope you learned something from this tutorial this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care